Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Profits. Today, joined by Fritz of Anomyces, <clears throat> reviewing another beer that we got from Beer Jim. So, thanks to Sons of Beer Jim for the beer. They got a lot of beer from this brewery, which is Jackie O's. Uh, so far, we had good experiences with the bottles that could be infected. Mm -hmm. They haven't been. We had Black Mask. Yep. And uh, like that one. Well, yeah, very nice, very well balanced. Oh, kind of Black Maple. Rest. Black Maple. No, this is Black Mask. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Black Maple, right. Uh, and uh, Champion Ground. Yeah. But this is Black Maple. And this is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stock conditioned on coconuts, coffee, and vanilla beans. With the samurai pug. <laughs> With a samurai pug. And as you see on the label, yeah, it's a pug. It's a samurai pug. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a funny little reference here. The reason why there's a pug on the label is because it's a tribute to um, the director of brewing operations pug called Barley. So they made a tribute to him and in a dog. Yes, the dog. <laughs> to Barley. It has a great name for a dog. Barley yeah. the pug. Barley the it. pug. Uh, so it's a samurai pug with vanilla bean flowers in the back and one. It's a great label. Uh, but this will be fun to try. This is a 12% bourbon barrel aged imperial style. So hopefully this one is not infected. Pours a very black color. Yeah. Uh, the head was very efficient, fizzy. Yeah, so mine that was, was huge. Yeah, mine was not too bad, but that's the first indicator. I was thinking, okay, we might have one of the infected bottle, but but infected bottles. It didn't smell like it. No, I went, went, or no when we, we poured it. But um, it looks like a know. cappuccino. Yeah, it head. does. Yeah, like a ca cappuccino like head. Very black in color. Let's check out the aroma. It's not infected. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not infected. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of vanilla and chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Huge vanilla it's, coffee, it, it, sweet coffee. It kind of smells like you did champion ground with vanilla and chocolate. Yeah. It was very similar. It's a bit more fudgy, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's more fudgy. I, but I think that's chocolate and vanilla that adds it. Fudgy. And, I, and loads of bourbon. The, 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 the bourbon character on these Jagios beers are pretty huge. Mm. But as I get a lot of uh, caramel, too. Yeah. And lots of ready biscuity yeah, malt, actually. That biscuity, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Digestive kind of note. A little bit, a hint of of alcohol, but just a touch. Yeah. Nice woody barrel character. Very, yeah, very, very right. caramel, very fudgy caramel. Mm. And um, yeah, yeah, bourbon is quite big. Bourbon, bourbon, oaky woodiness. And that kind of, it's like the candy bourbon yeah. aroma, as, as Tobias, your friend, who actually yeah. kind of brought that term in. I can see what he means. Like that sweet caramel thing. Yeah. And they have lots of vanilla and chocolate and coffee. It smells very nice. It smells very nice, yeah. Let's try it. Cheers, and thanks to Beer Jim for the beer. Cheers. This is starting with an infection. I can yeah. taste that immediately. Yeah. It's not completely there that yet, but it has a touch of lactic sourness. It is. It has yes. that tartness, and it's thin. It's very thin. But the others, the, the, in general, they haven't been thick. No, but... The Jackie was beautiful. But this feels like it's be beginning to get a bit, like, sour fizzy in some way. Uh, it explains your head. Yeah, it's definitely infected, this bottle. Because mm. it has that, like, red wine, yeah. tart, lactic sourness. But it's yeah. very light. It's not a lot. It, But it's, yeah. When but it's, it's enough you to... Know when, when, right when it hits your tongue, yeah, yeah. it's it's there, but it, then it goes away. And but I'd say it's pretty good for for three beers that could have been infected. Only one, yeah, was yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, that's a shame because the aroma is really nice. Mm. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm quite surprised you don't get much of it in the aroma. But as I'm sitting tasting it. I do taste a little bit of it, but I yeah, think we're, gonna, we're, we're not going to stop the review or anything and say, yeah, we're going to ditch this video. This is a good learning thing, a learning experience for you guys. So when you get a beer like this, what you need to look for in order to find out if the beer is infected. First of all, when you pour a beer that has a chance for infection, look at the carbonation. Uh, often a sign could be that the beer is fizzy and bubbly. Mm. When you open it, you get a big hiss because what's happening is that the lactic bacteria, if that's the infection, which I think is in the case of this, is eating up the leftover sugar that yeah. regular brewer's yeast can't uh, ferment. And then it gets you know more carbonated, more fizzy. Mm. And the byproduct that the lactic bacteria produce is lactic acid, also carbonation. Yeah. So it gets quite fizzy. I can't remember if they actually produce alcohol as well, but it kind of ferments on. 
uh, in the bottle, so to speak. Yeah. And you, you, you taste it quite, it's like a slightly tart, like milky, like yeah. if you have yogurt, it's a yogurty type sourness. Yeah, it has that yogurty, but I also think of something like sour with this one, like sour plums or something yeah, yeah. sour. But I think that's just, the, the, the sour plum thing is because it's yeah. stout. So you get the, yeah. all the dark fruit and all mm. that that you would get in a stout. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's a shame because the aroma on this was really good. Yeah, the aroma is very good. Mm -hmm. And what uh, what is a bit surprising to me is that when I had the double barrel Noah that was infected, you sensed it immediately with the yeah. aroma, but you don't read it with this one no, yet. No, which is interesting. Um, but I mean, that's mm. how it goes. You, you can't. We knew that one of them yeah. had a chance of being infected, but I wanted to try them anyways because I heard people tried them and they were not infected. Yeah. So I but think it's it not like a huge infection, but it is. No, it's slightly yeah. there, and it kind of yeah. hides some of the tones of like vanilla and chocolate. That yeah, and the, the depth aroma. and yeah, it but takes away all the. That's the kind of flavors you're looking for if yeah. you're looking for a, at least a lactic infection. It's sourness, milky type sourness, mm. and often fizziness, yeah. and it's quite easy p to pinpoint yeah. if you try it for the first time. And yeah. this is a great example of that. So as a learning experience, this is good, especially if you're not used to tr trying beer that's been infected before. This is what yeah. you look for. Yeah. I actually, I'm not gonna grade this. No, I'm just gonna, no, we're not gonna. I'm gonna post it as a review for educational purposes, just so that you guys know what to expect when you get a beer that's infected and what to look for. Yeah. But I'm not gonna give a grade because I think it's not fair because the brewery, what they otherwise does is amazing. And they were even kind enough, if you lived in the States, you know, if you got a infected bottle or you got bottles of it, they did a trade in if you're nearby the brewery, mm. you can go there, have it traded for, for a different selection of beer, which is very nicely done. Yeah. Um, and I still recommend checking out Jackie Hill. This yeah. is the only instance I've heard of them having a problem with a series of barrels from last year. Mm. But it can happen, you know, it can hide in the wood. Uh, and it's uh, and it just and goes again, to show. it's not something huge, yeah. so when they tasted it, it was. Yeah, not there you know, yet. It maybe, wasn't there. You know, and if you haven't had a problem with bacteria as an infection before, you might not send beers to labs and or have no. microbiology checks. I don't know how they do it there. No. But it's something you don't taste it in the beginning and then it starts growing and then mm. it gets there. And maybe we were actually, the, the other two bottles we had were infected, but we just yeah, couldn't taste it yet because it was yeah. a young infection. It really varies a lot from bottle to bottle mm. depending on the, the, the culture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's lactic. It's tart, uh, but it definitely has big bourbon characters. Oh, yeah. it still has that bourbon -y coffee. Yeah. But uh, it's a coffee. shame. Yeah. So, no rating on this one. No. But I still recommend checking out some Jack Eels. But at least for now, not 2017 Black Mask. No. Because that's the one we experienced being yeah. infected. Yeah. So, it kind of had to happen almost with these three. Almost, because I, yeah. was, I was warned by my subscriber, Dominic, who said, you might be getting mm. some infections. Yeah, but we'll see. Or oh, we, we we did see. Yeah, it, it did happen. But uh, we'll see with future releases. Mm. I think they got it under control. I mean, whatever we've had since has been great. So, yeah. so if you guys had a chance to try the Jackie O's Black Mask, let us know what you thought of it. Did you have a non-infected bottle? It would be nice to hear because the flavors were quite promising mm. beforehand. And as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out Beer Jam if you want to try some good beers. And uh, we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. See you guys in the beer room.